Welcome to another episode of Chronicles of Strength TV. Today I have something a little different but very exciting. If you have not seen it, you will see it very soon. Um, I did about an hour long interview with Timothy Ferris on his new book, The 4 Hour Chef. And in that interview, he challenged me to cook uh, a recipe from his new book. It, the recipe is Asso Buko. I have literally spent a couple days practicing how to pronounce Asso Buko, and I'm still probably not saying it right. So what does that mean? It means I am a perfect candidate for this, because this is a cookbook for non-cooks, and I couldn't be any more of a non-cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead you through this, this recipe. We're going to cook this sucker. I'm going to do a quick uh, kettlebell workout while it's cooking. Come back, taste it, and we'll see what the verdict is. Um, the cool thing about this and what's really great about this book is it's all about having a very large margin of error for the non-cooks. So I have a lot of room to play where I can really kind of botch this up. Uh, but the, but still be safe and for and for this to actually still taste pretty good. So come on over here. I'll show you what I've done so far. All I've done is broken up some carrots and have made a bed for these lamb shanks, which we got from a local Amish men. Uh, so it's high quality meat. Uh, the carrots I won't speak for those. Christine got that. Um, so we'll cut this video up and I'll lead you through the steps um, uh, segment by segment. Lola one aso buka. So, I, I didn't think it would come down to this, but it has. Um, apparently, I got to break tomatoes over these lamb shanks, and they're going to squirt. So, uh, this is going to be live, unedited. How do you know it's unedited? Because if it is edited, you're not going to see any of this. So, let's see, let's see how this works. I've, remember, I have never done any of this before. So, oh, there we go. So, I'm going to crush the tomatoes and throw them in there with, the, uh, with their juice. And I am making an incredible mess. All right, next step is very simple. It is, I'm going to add a three-finger pinch of garlic powder. Let's see if I can even get that. Sprinkle that around. Easy. And then about two tablespoons of Evu, or extra virgin olive oil. We got Crisco. Um, and apparently a glug is about a good guesstimation for that. So that's, that's all I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'd say that's about a glug. All right, onward. The next step in the Asso Buko journey is to cover one half to three fourths of the meat with any, I guess, white wine of your choosing. So we have this Rufino, whatever. Here we go. Now, let's see. That's probably going to equate to about half a bottle. Okay, next step is to add three uh, finger pinches of kosher salt, which I actually just did, and uh, ten grinds of pepper. And in the, in the four-ounce chef, it says to do it from about 12 inches up, and this will help to create an even spread around the shanks. So let's try that. And he says add more than you think you need. So that's what I'll do. I'll probably do more than... Let's see. Running a little low on pepper here, so I'm going to do a little more than the... Than I think I need. Okay. All right, that will do that. So we have been preheating the oven at 350 degrees. I am going to stick this in. You notice that I covered it. So if you have a full Dutch oven cover, it we sort of improvised with the uh, tin foil, uh, aluminum foil. I'm going to put this in the oven two hours. It's going to give me plenty of time to go work out. Come back and then we will we'll taste it and let you know how it is. Welcome back. I just had a wonderful uh, like 30 minute kettlebell workout right in the living room. And this is the finished product. So let's zoom on in here. This is the Asobuco. And with it we have a few of the carrots, tomatoes, uh, some kale, chips, and then some rosemary potatoes. So, first bite, we're going to try it and see how it is, alright? Let's see this. Wow. Alright. Christine is going to try the Asso Buco. Alright. That's really good. I used to work in an Italian restaurant. And the chef would make me Asso Buco every once in a while. And that is just as good as what Eddie used to make for me. So that's awesome. Well done. Well done, Pat. You are going to make dinner more often now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs>